Hey there, good morning, Sunday morning, and I'm, uh, well, I started back on my spindle sand to rebuild yesterday, and I got this far, I actually, um, well, I got the top cut out, but I made the hole that you see right here this morning. Okay, it was, I don't know, it was around 7 o'clock I finished with this. I made a couple of mistakes. Uh, the reason why, I, like, it took me so long to get this far, I already had these pieces cut out, like, more than a week ago. But I was saying, oh, what are you doing with this? Like, this is just a rectangular box. How, how is this going to work? So, I went, you know, thinking about it and all that stuff and uh, overthought it. And I decided, just come out and do it. Damn it. Just get it done. So, the top is relatively small, which is what I wanted. Because I didn't want to take up a lot of space. And you can see it's like centered here, except it sticks out a little bit on the front. And um, the switch is on the front. Uh, the cord comes out the back. There's a couple of bigger holes in the back here for ventilation. A couple of holes in the bottom for ventilation. Uh, there's a couple of cleats that I need to add to the sides to to screw it down to the the stand <clears throat> behind me, which I actually um, kind of refinished a little bit in that uh, I never did do the sides and they got kind of moldy last year. So I sanded that all down. I put on a couple coats of urethane. I also sanded the top, cleaned that up. That was done with urethane before. But I renewed that and got that with three coats on there. And it's looking good. So, like, this is as far as I am with this. But I just finished making the inserts. This is something else I was thinking about. How many of these I need. All right, because I got the discs. Hold on. <clears throat> Not this. Sleeves. Okay? They finally arrived. <laughs> I ordered these, like, I don't know, a month ago. And they just came. The other day so that said you know you got to get this finished so there's a three inch a two inch a one and a half a one a three quarter and a half inch okay the half inch just fits right onto the spindle like that i need to make something for the three like the three quarter but i was thinking that all three of these could go into the same insert and then i would just have one separate for these bigger size ones okay so there'd be one, two, three, four inserts, and that's what I made. I made them from <clears throat> quarter inch acrylic. All right, so what I did was I, I cut them out on the bandsaw first to the rough size, and then I, I fine tuned them to an exact fit on the uh, disc sander back there. I drilled a, a small hole as a pivot point in the middle. And uh, one of the, like the first one of these that I'm going to do will be the one for this size right here. So ultimately it needs a, say a one and an eighth inch hole in the middle, I guess, something like that. I don't have a one and an eighth inch bit, I don't think. I've got a one and a quarter inch bit. That might do it, okay? But first I need to get a like a half inch hole in that. So the, I'll use this one to center the top perfectly on these inserts right around the spindle I mean so if I have a half inch hole here I can put it on drop it into the recess make sure the top is exactly aligned before screwing it down to the base All right now um, what else I should finish this mostly today I was gonna build some sort of uh, maybe a little maybe some I don't know what I'm like I gotta figure out what it's gonna be on the front right because I still have to make discs, not discs, sleeve, drums, sanding drums for this, right? I've got the two inch one done, but I still need to make the three, the one and a half, and then I got to figure out what I'm doing with the other ones, the other two, right? The two small ones. Maybe I'll just use the rubber ones that I have. Um, here's the... Yeah, see, that's not a bad fit. It's still a little slack, but I, it can be just workable, right? So maybe I'll, I'll still keep these, but I'll make the ones for the bigger ones. And I'll make a video about that. 
right? Because that's worthy of a video, I think. So, yeah. <clears throat> and then I'll have this to use again because I've got a project that I've been planning for a while that I need to use this. Like, I need to have a spindle sander. Or at least it makes more sense to have a spindle sander to do it. Because it'll save a lot of time. Okay? So, video I released this morning was uh, <laughs> cutting and sanding at the same time. Here's the blade here. I still haven't taken the sandpaper off. I don't know. I've read some of the comments. I didn't stay long. I just came out here because I wanted to get this thing done. Uh, some people are taking it seriously. Some people are pointing out how dangerous it is and all this. You know what? I, I released a video on the Katana building that, you know, 12 and a half minute video showing that in detail. And that kind of flopped. So I said, Let's try something, you know, some kind of novelty video this week and see how that flies. I'm willing to bet <laughs> that it's going to do way better than the Katana, okay? But time shall tell. I mean, okay, you've got the thumbnail pointed to the blade with the sandpaper on there and the thing saying sandpaper, a big yellow arrow. That kind of catches people's eye. And then the title asks a question, and you see that encourages you to go, Watch the video to find out the answer, right? Because you probably already have the answer to begin with, or most people think they do. Anyway, they watch the video. Yeah. So like I always said about, you know, getting the right thumbnail is very important. Very important. I got a really excellent example of that. Jeremy Fielding released a video a couple weeks ago. It was a couple weeks ago, about a week ago. I'll say a week ago. Weeks are days for me, okay? And uh, it was on centrifugal switch for a motor. And it had the picture of the centrifugal switch right on the thumbnail. So no, I recognize what it was immediately. Most people won't, but it kind of looks kind of neat. And then the, the title was, uh, I can't remember the exact wording of it, but uh, it was, this uh, gadget's in every... Uh, American home or something like that, right? So that kind of, like, it doesn't give all the answers away. That's the way you have to do it to be successful with the videos these days. You have to encourage people to click on the video, even if they don't stay for long, right? Because I think the last time I checked, half a million views on that video for a centrifugal switch. Now, if he had to put a picture of a motor with a centrifugal switch sitting out on the bench beside it, okay? and saying how to fix or how a centrifugal switch works, it wouldn't have got nearly as many views. I know this. I know this for a fact, okay? So, yeah, that's that's the game you gotta play. You gotta play the game of, of, uh, of getting, the, uh, getting the title right and getting the thumbnail right so that people have to click. They have to click to see what it is. So, uh, I thought about, one thing I thought about doing with these, especially for the small ones, is drilling a series of holes around the, like, around the outer part here, so that it might inc Im improve dust collection, right? Because, okay, it's going to be fairly big anyway. Like, this is the one inch one. This is the biggest one for this insert. I think I can probably get away with a one inch hole. So that doesn't leave a lot of space there, right? So I was thinking about maybe quarter inch holes uh, just outside. I don't think I've ever seen that before in a commercial, but I haven't really looked, right? So, I don't know. It's wide open for it. Anyway, let's take this off and, and we'll have a little bit of a better look. Jeez, doesn't hurt if that falls on the floor, John. Uh, the plastic, I really love this plastic. On the table saw, it's slick. It's so, it's like so tough, right? It's soft. It's It feels so soft, but it's so tough. It's insane, okay? And it'd be, it's perfect material for this, I think. So I kept this real simple. It's just MDF half inch. Cause like I said, eventually want to build one from scratch. So I don't want to put, you know, a lot of money into this, but I want to continue using it, obviously. So, just MDF box, straight sides. 
Uh, the piece that I made earlier is inside there. It's an inch and a half down from the top. I made these uh, partitions here that give me enough space. I drilled a hole in the back, one and three quarter for the hose, which comes out and goes to the sander, both machines. And that will do the dust collection for here. And uh, that's it. I got the switch in here. I got that, um, that starter thing mounted on the inside. And I put the cord out through the back, so pretty basic. Services provided and promotional fees paid by the following. Announcing a new world car, Ford Escort with road-hugging four-wheel independent suspension, front-wheel drive and rack and pinion steering. See the new Ford Escort at your Ford dealer now.